play. Absolutely easy. And so long as I don't have to do it through QMK, I think I'll actually do okay. <clears throat> <laughs> after after our rant last week. Alright. Fine. Board's still nice and secure, so. Let's unplug our programming header because now Okay. So we need to take one of these very, very tiny wires. Nothing wrong with that. Laser is awesome in that way because it's harder to do that with CAD files because, for like 3D printing rather, because usually you get STLs, which are kind of like a picture of the outside of the model and you have no other information and it's an approximation, a triangular net wrapped around that object. But with... Out of the frame. Right, holding it here. We can flip the board around a bit. I just should probably check for that short before I go at everything. Um, I don't know if maybe you missed my question or you're an idiot. Uh, did I miss a question from connected to that pin right there? Which you can't really see much, but I swear it's there. I assume a Dexchon G7 is probably like a constant glucose monitor, would be my guess, given our constant uh, fusion reactors the next step. Yeah, glucose monitor, I thought so. <clears throat> fusion reactor is the next step. Yeah, I mean, obvious. There, there, so I will say there is no that pin, but there's one short there. The next likely uh, candidate is that the chip itself is holding it under reset because of some error state. Um, it needs to be as complex and end up with really weird, wonky looking edges. But um, yeah, Maker Case is uh, one of a couple of different options. <clears throat> but um, there's a couple of really fun tools for that. Um, and there was another one. Let me see if I can find. That's nice. That's always what you want. Ugh. That's irritating. Okay. Let's put this back in the frame then and <clears throat> not much I can do. 
feel about that, though. Turn it like this. Maybe that'll help. I can put some filters on this guy and make it look a little bit better. programming law. And would be, because like, there's kind of the two ways that you can go about doing laser cut files, right? There is the version where you go into something like Inkscape or whatever, and you draw it as a flat pattern, and then in your head, you try and put all your pieces together and make sure they work. Or, what you could do is go into a 3D modeling software, some kind of CAD package, could be a chip fault, but I try not to blame the components, because they tend to be more reliable than me. So. And uh, 3D model the thing with your material thickness, because especially if you're gonna do boxes, you tend to use finger joints or bolt joints or anything like that, where your material thickness makes a big difference. If you got a quarter inch thick material and your fingers only overlap by an eighth of an inch, then obviously you're gonna find it here. Um, this one, I think, was the one, the other one. This one's Python based, but Yeah, that one allows you to actually do really complicated shapes. Um, like electronics boxes or hinges or keypads, etc, etc, etc. That one's probably the better one for you if you're trying to do something weird. Um, can sculpt, though, and make flat packaging meshes. Well, the nice thing is, is a the 3D modeling only... Laser cutters, you have basically the design files right there, right? It's a DXF or SVG or something of that nature, which is already in itself editable. So if there's something that has what you want that's kind of close, make it happen. Um, <clears throat> my big suggestion... I got that got attached nicely. Tiny, tiny wire, right? I think this is something... I'm going to work with this stuff again. You know, I had this spool for years and didn't use it at all. It was one of those things I bought and I told myself, oh, it'll be useful eventually. And then like, eh, it probably won't be. I probably won't need it. And now it's like the most fundamental thing I have for this project. Is a little silly, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Sorry for blocking your view. 
Hold on. Oh, I have a question, Monster Man. I want to design a laser file for a box and don't know where to start. Um, hold, please. like 40 gauge if I remember correctly it's silly silly thin and using it without magnification is possible but it's difficult Marginally better, I think. Does look like it's a bit out of focus, though. 